Uh, this one is a fun one. We're lightening the mood a little bit, guys. That was kind of heavy, kind of heavy, but we're moving on. Uh, and this next topic, uh, it, it, like I said, it's it's a fun one. Uh, no more boo-hoos. No, no more boo-hoos. <laughs> uh, this past week at the IAPA Expo that took place here in Orlando, a panel of current and former Universal Creative team members came together to celebrate, recall, and discuss the development of the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man attraction that debuted at Islands of Adventure with its park opening in 1999. During this panel, moderator Bob Rogers, that's another Bob for you, asked the panel of creatives what their biggest mistake was during their career. And I'm sorry if I butcher this name, but Theory, 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 Theory Coop, Senior VP and Chief Creative Officer of Universal Creative had an answer that set the internet on fire. Uh, Coop responded very hesitantly with this statement. I wish I had stopped our senior management from building the Fast and Furious attraction. After the loud applause and laughter settled down, he finished by adding, hey, it, it's a good attraction, but it's not what it should be. With all the controversy of this attraction and all the speculations and rumors of an uh, overhaul, no pun intended, you know, Fast and Furious overhaul, you know, uh, of this ride, what are your reactions and thoughts to the comment from Mr. Theory Coop. Sean, I'll start with you on this one. So, you know, it's so funny. I I have been to both only the U.S. parks mm -hmm. and Universal Hollywood and then, of course, Universal Orlando um, in our backyard. And it's funny because um, this attraction was actually an attraction within an attraction. Yeah. You know, it literally was part of the, the, the Hollywood tram tour out in Universal Hollywood. Yeah, that was its origins. With, yeah. That was its origins. And then it was a segment of this that large, like, 45-minute attraction. And then they took it and they they literally chopped it out of that. And then they brought it to Universal Orlando. And it's funny because, you know, there's been a lot of... I To be really frank with you, I, I think it, it is kind of not the best use of that <laughs> space. That's being nice. That, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. not my favorite attraction, by any means, it's been scrutinized by so many people. It's a lot of people, a lot of fans are really upset when it was announced and placed in the park. And upon opening, there was a lot of hate on the internet specifically, um, especially in the theme park. A lot of in person too. A lot of in person yeah. as well, you know. And it's it's funny that he would acknowledge that so publicly on in yeah. such a public forum and. I he's didn't... still the current VP, what is it, the VP and Chief Creative Officer of Universal Creative? So, yeah. Like he's up there. He is up there. Yeah. He definitely it's, is. Yeah. And I, risky. I'd love to know the conversations that took place following that direct quote he made, <laughs> yeah. but uh, behind the scenes, of course. But, you know, I don't know. I, I respect his honesty. I, I mean, it's just true. It's really not a really well-reviewed ride, mm -hmm. and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I... Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't really think too highly of it. And um, if it were up to me, it would not be in the park. So, Do you, you know. think this adds fuel to the discussion of, of either a re-theme or like a refurbishment or like a changing of the ride? Because ever since that ride opened, yeah. people have been like, there's no way that Universal is going to let it stay like this for so long. And there's even been some fairly credible rumors saying that they're working on something uh personally do you think that the, this quote it being so recent and the fact that he's still working there do you think that that adds any credence to these ideas of maybe something will happen you know what's so crazy i feel like so much money is being spent by the universal parks mm -hmm. currently at epic universe and i'd assume a lot of financials have been allocated for that massive undertaking um i i don't know i don't really know if universal orlando or islands of adventure really i feel like i don't know i don't really know if a lot of projects that are taking place in either park part of me feels like that would be a waste of money at the current time mm -hmm. so for that reason i i don't feel like it'd be anything that'd be happening anytime soon for that reason just because there's so many larger things that are in the pipe 
um, moving forward. But, you know, I mean, hey, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately, <laughs> as much as we'd like to believe yeah. it. I just, I don't, I don't know. It just seems like a waste yeah. of money and time at this point. I think it was a mistake. It is what it is. I feel like, you know, in time, but I, I just, I don't see in the, any time in the, I don't personally think in any time in the near future, they're going to spend money on that. I don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trisha, what do you think? Uh, the, what, what do you think about these quotes? Like, do you think it, what, what were your initial reactions? And then also playing into that, the future of that attraction, do you think mm-hmm. this changes the way you see it or anything like that? I appreciate his honesty. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like, all right, this is what it is. Like, not much we can do about it now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's our, it's there. But I think that ride's also funny because if you go with friends who have never been before, they kind of want to just see how bad it is. Oh, it's like the ultimate and prank so, yeah. yeah. So it's like you have to do it because yeah. they just want to see what it's all about. And then it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't disappoint because it does. It exactly. Does. That's yeah. the point. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, and I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like they're going to really do much with it. I, I don't know. I almost feel like you have to start over. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of at that point. Mm-hmm. I, I always, you know, I always call it the slow and disappointed. Yeah. You know, but if there's one thing that they did get right, it does make me furious when I get off yeah, the ride. That's you know, true. it might not be fast, but yeah. I am furious yeah. when I'm off the ride. Yeah. But uh, uh, I, I, t- I tend to agree with, with you guys mm-hmm. that uh universal just has their hands tied right now yeah Yeah. i'm sure that if they wanted to they really could Mm -hmm. do something with the attraction uh but they didn't put it there thinking that it was going to be an e-ticket attraction Mm -hmm. they kind of knew that it was going to be a little bit lower um i don't think they knew that it was going to be as bad as it was (laughs) because it did have it had mixed reviews in hollywood but they were more positive than negative like they they did lean more positive uh, just because of the context of where it took place. You know, that ride, it, it, it's not a ride. It's a segment, like yeah. you said, of the tram tour. And I think people were a lot more lenient uh, on that attraction because of that. And then you take it out of context and you just make it its own attraction. That's really where not all of its flaws come from, but quite a bit of its flaws do come from. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, they've spent quite a bit of money the two resort or the two parks that they have right now uh with you know hagrid's being introduced velocicoaster yeah. Yeah. uh born stunt tacular at the other park mm-hmm. now they're closing shrek 4d and they're refurbishing the mummy and you know they're going to be doing something with uh fear factor that just shut down mm-hmm. yeah. so it seems like they have their they have their hands full with quite a lot of projects and on top of that yeah. They're building one of the world's largest theme parks in down Orlando the, yeah. at the same yeah. time, yeah. just down the street. Yeah. Uh, so I, I love that uh, he was bold enough to say this in public. Yeah. And I, I love that it was received well by the fans, you know, because it is like, even like when I walk down the streets uh, and I walk past Fast and Furious, just the random people that are walking by me, like people that I don't know, and you know, I don't know if they're theme park fans or if this is their first time here, you cannot walk past that attraction and not hear someone mm-hmm. snicker about it. Yeah. You cannot hear someone uh, make fun of it or say that was like the word, like you cannot. I, so it's just, it's, I love that they addressed it mm-hmm. and the fans, instead of like getting all up in arms about it, they actually decided to laugh a yeah. little bit and have a good time with it. I so I appreciate that, but keep on hitting my microphone. <laughs> but like you guys, I I also believe that that attraction will it will have something done to it for yeah. sure at some point. Like there's no way. Obviously, the creatives know, mm-hmm. so something will happen. But like you guys, I be, I don't think anything will happen to it. Uh, soon yeah. relatively soon uh maybe after epic universe opens but we're stuck with it for now i think and the thing is like you know what universal can do yeah too. so it's just kind of like then this is what you get how, how did like, this happen yeah. yeah 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 i just yeah it is funny that he claimed that that was his biggest mistake yeah. in his career. like we didn't <laughs> stop management that's just that's so funny 